In this animation, we'll be creating and assigning a couple of tags using the PLC Logic Simulation Software Package. When you open a new controller file, the only tags that are available are those that are associated with the I.O. module. These pre-existing tags reside in the controller tags area and have global scope. This makes these tags available to all tasks and programs in this controller file. We will be creating and assigning tags for this single run application. This rung is designed to count product units as they move past a detector on a conveyor. We'll begin by double clicking on the programs tag item located in the controller organizer. Next, we click on the edit tags tab to bring up the tag editor. The tag editor allows us to create, modify, or remove tags for the program application. Any tags created in this area will be limited in scope. They will only be available inside the main program. To create a new tag for the counter in our application, we simply enter the desired tag name in the text box provided. We then click Enter to create the tag. The newly created tab is assigned the double integer data type by default. Click on the data type field to assign the appropriate data type to our newly created counter tag. Next, click on the small button appearing at the right-hand side of this field to bring up the data type selection dialog box. We select counter from the list of available data types and then click on the OK button. To reveal the structure of the counter data type, we click on the small plus sign located on the left-hand side in the tag name field. We'll now move on and assign this newly created tag to the counter in our application. Returning to our mainline program, we now double click on the question mark located to the right of the counter field on our CTU instruction. Click on the drop down arrow to bring up a scrollable listing of all available tags for the application. Select the desired tag from the list and hit the Enter button to assign it to our counter in the circuit. Now that we've assigned a tag with the appropriate data structure to our counter instruction, we can go ahead and populate the preset field for this instruction. We'll now return to the tag editor and create a second tag for use with the contact on this rung. As we have done previously, we enter the desired tag name in the name field provided. This time, our newly created tag is intended for use with the contact on our ladder rung that provides stimulus for the counter. We will therefore associate this tag with an actual physical I.O. address. This type of tag is referred to as an alias tag. To define the alias tag, Select the Alias for field. Next, click on the drop down arrow to bring up the listing of available tags. In this instance, our field device is connected to the slot 1 bit 2 input rack location. Expand the controller tag associated with the slot 1 input module and select the bit 2 specific tag. Click on the Enter button to assign this tag to our alias. Note that the data type associated with the base tag address is automatically filled in when we create the alias. Returning to the main routine, we can now assign our alias tag to the contact on our run. We double click on the question mark located above the desired contact. We then click on the drop down arrow to bring up our list of available tags. Select the desired tag and hit enter to complete the assignment. Note that in addition to the alias tag name, the base address is also shown on the ladder logic diagram. To test our program, we bring up the I.O. chassis and then place the controller in run mode. As can be seen, the program correctly responds to any changes in stimulus at the slot 1 bit 2 input rack location. As demonstrated in this animation, tags of various types can be easily created and assigned using the PLC Logic Simulation Software Package.